was beaten and abused by her ex-husband, who was serving time for assault. It's estimated that four million women are attacked each year by their husbands or their boyfriends. Occasionally that man goes to jail, but rarely is his victim told when he's released. But even scarier for the victim is not knowing when the batterer will get out of jail. Victims of crime in the islands will now be able to track offenders every move while prisoners are in custody. This allows users of the system to receive real-time information about the custody status of offenders after registering online with the program 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every time we read, watch, or listen to the news, crime stories top the headlines. We learn about a robbery, an assault, or a senseless killing. Crimes that leave victims, families, and the public looking for answers. As criminal justice professionals, we do our best to ensure that victims and their families are kept up to date on custody or court matters. But even with a vast amount of resources, victims may not get the information they need when they need it. Mary Byron was one of those victims, shot to death on her 21st birthday by a former boyfriend turned rapist. And finally, her killer. Mary's murder raised an issue that plagued victims and their families for years. How could people be notified in advance of an offender's release from a county jail or state facility? Mary's parents were told that they would be notified, but they weren't. And within days of Donovan Harris's release, their daughter was dead. But Mary's story didn't end with her killer's conviction. In fact, her legacy had just begun. The Byrons became leading advocates for automated victim notification. Working with officials in their community, the Byrons led a campaign that would revolutionize the way victims and their families keep track of offenders through the criminal justice system. Their work led to the development of the nation's first automated victim notification system called VINE, Victim Information and Notification Every Day. VINE provides victims, families, and the public with two very important items, information and notification. Through a national communication center, VINE connects crime victims in small towns and large cities with critical offender and court information 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Using VINE only takes a few minutes, but people can't use it if they don't know about it. That's why your participation is vital. Whether you are a law enforcement officer, victim advocate, or prosecutor, you have direct contact with crime victims and their families at a time when they need answers. Well, its critical role was delivering information to victims in a timely fashion, getting them the information they needed so that they could take care of uh, their own safety plan. And that role really hasn't changed over the years. While Vine has evolved from a technology standpoint, that victim may get that information today via a text message. They may look it up on a mobile device or go to a website. Uh, they may still get their telephone to ring, but now it's more likely a cell phone, less likely a, a home phone like we would have had back in the beginning. So while the technologies continue to evolve, the soul, the purpose of Vine and the role, the, the heart of Vine really hasn't changed. It's about making sure that information to that victim gets there in a timely fashion so that they can either create a safety plan or just regain kind of the control and power in their life that they've lost. Vine allows you to call or go online anytime from anywhere to learn the custody status of an offender. Most communities use Vine to register for and receive notification upon an offender's release from jail or prison. Some states also use it to follow up on an offender's next scheduled court date. Using Vine is a simple three-step process, information, registration, and notification. Users need only a touch-tone phone to call Vine. Once Vine has been contacted, the caller will be walked through the information and registration process. Hello, welcome to the Kentucky Department of Corrections Automated Victim Notification Service. During registration, the caller will be asked to provide a phone number and four-digit personal identification number, or PIN. Once registered, the caller will receive an automatic phone call when there is a change in the offender's custody or court status. Calls continue for a minimum of 24 hours or until the correct PIN is entered. The PIN confirms and stops the calls. Vine is also available on the internet at vinelink.com. Click the state that you are interested in and follow the directions. 
With VineLink, you have the option to register for notification by phone, email, or text. Notification is also available by TTY. In addition, your Vine service has 24-hour live operator assistance. Please refer to the fact sheet for more details about Vine in your area. Crime victims may not be in a state of mind to remember registration details. Brochures and other printed materials are available that describe Vine and how to use it. Let's highlight some key points. Vine is anonymous. Offenders cannot determine who has registered for notification. Vine registration is safe and secure. Vine is accessible 24 hours a day, seven days a week with live operator assistance. Vine is constantly monitored by experts to ensure service without interruption. There are no limits to the number of calls that can be made and people can call from anywhere at any time. There are no fees. All calls to and from Vine are free. Another key point, victims and their families need to know that offenders, even when arrested, can be out on bail in days or even hours after an arrest. Across the country, police, prosecutors, and victims have come forward in support of Vine. Vine to me is a notification access point for victims. It would be empowerment and just a peace of mind uh, portal. To me, it's the safety of victims. Beyond being an automated notification system for victims, it is certainly a peace of mind. Vine is there for them 24-7, whereas victim advocates like myself cannot be. We could not do this job without Vine. Vine means life-saving. Vine means the ability to intervene in a way that literally can save lives. Mary didn't have a chance because she didn't know that her rapist was out of jail. And I think the, the only good thing that has come from that horrible tragedy is the fact that the Vine system has been instituted in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And we'll probably never know how many murders and other crimes have been prevented. I like to think she would be alive because we would have been given the choice of uh, getting her protection, getting her out of state, getting her away from the whole situation. Vine is about empowering crime victims to take control of their lives again. When you tell victims about Vine, you are serving and protecting your community. But most of all, you are giving people a chance to help themselves.